come through, queen. I want to see you come through, queen. Hi, everyone. It's Dan. And Brendan. And this is Come Through, Queen. Hello. Hi, Brendan. What's happening? How are you? Well, I mean, we get into a lot in our Patreon pre-show. We usually talk about a little later on in the in the episode, but I did want to point out, we're talking about the show everyone's talking about, Jury Duty. Yeah, Ronald Gladden fans, rise up. Rise up, put your paws up. And also kind of Patreon related, I started season two of Family Karma mm -hmm. this morning. And I, and I think we both loved season one. Yeah. We're going to be recapping season two on Patreon next week. And it's coming to you with even more LGBT. So. Oh my God. Even more LGBT. I would say even like higher stakes. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's a little like amped up realizing like, oh, I'm on Bravo. Yes. I'm a reality TV star. Um, So yeah, I think we're both very excited to talk about that. But we're probably most excited to talk about something that we have been begging, crying, pleading for. And Please, Andy, where is it? And he and Andy gave it to us. Yes. It is the Orange County trailer. It's finally here. It's finally here. And obviously, Tamara Judge is back mm. as, as long anticipated. And Taylor Armstrong has joined us as a friend. Mm. We have a new housewife. What's her name? Jennifer Pedronti, I want to say. Yes. So another Jen enters the fold. It's, it's, it's interesting how like when one Jen leaves, another Jen comes in. Yes. Dr. Jen left us too soon, I would say. Mm, I would say Noella left us too soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, this... this ima imagine if like this cast was the likes of the 20-person cast of New Jersey. I know. Just keep adding people, please. Yeah. Uh, but this Jen brings us another shirtless hot husband, much like the other Jen. I know, yeah. yeah. Really following in her footsteps. I do want to say... I'm going to say some positive things, some negative things. Okay. One positive thing is that it feels like the rooms are full. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, a lot of times on Orange County, like, the room doesn't feel full of people. This room feels full because we've got how many people around the table <laughs> even without um, our jump scare at the end? Well, I think there's six main cast, then there's Taylor Armstrong friend, mm -hmm. and then there's Vicky Gunfelson guest. Yes. Yeah. I feel like it's... It's good to have Heather for a second season because the first season was like, oh, Heather's back. Yes. And now it's like, oh, no, Heather's just a part of it. And we didn't know if she was going to stick around or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, we have Gina rumored to be trading oranges with Taylor Armstrong, mm -hmm. firmly grasping that orange. And nobody's happier than that than Dan. I mean, in that group group photo, I got to say... Looking the chicest of them all. Sure, sure, sure. Like sure. lounging on that uh, lounge chair. What am I saying? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, one one complaint that I'll bring mm. in is I liked the trailer in general, but I don't need the setup mm. of like we have to have like oh these like fifties housewives like let's ex let's roll in some footage from the 1950s yeah. and splice it in. Well, we were discussing, like we kind of already did something similar to this with a Potomac trailer yeah. where they were like the rules of etiquette in Potomac or da, 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 mm -hmm. da. it's like, it fell a hop, skip and a jump from that. Sure. And it just, it kind of, I think after such a long wait for a trailer, mm. it kind of sets people up to be like, mm. do we have nothing? Well, okay. So I think I have a few things to say. Number one, People were not going to be happy no matter what because of how yeah. long it took. Mm -hmm. It's like the longer you wait, the expectations are climbing through the roof. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went in with like a lower expectation because of yeah. that. And then number two, yeah, the trailer doesn't make a ton of sense. I don't really know what's going on, but it feels like people are awake. Yeah. Which I think sometimes people are a little sleepy on OC. Sure. Yeah. On that, one thing about OC that I actually mm. like kind of can appreciate is that no matter what mm. year is, we're always kind of getting similar imagery. Oh. It's like, we're kind of always like 
There's a party where people are in cowboy hats. Okay. There's a bowl, a mechanical bowl <laughs> sure. every once in a while. There's people in wigs mm. consistently. We're actually probably in Javier's more than ever. Exactly. I want to say. say I saw th- two or three separate scenes in Javier's. One of which was with, with Mr. Sharky Shark. With Mr. Sharky Shark, Mark Cuban, in the booth I sat in. Wow. I my my booty touched that very chair. You sat there before he did, right? Before they filmed. Okay. Yeah, because I think like cameras were like just going up as I was there, maybe. Right. Like you were there right before Cut Fitness closed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In July of last year. Yeah. Was that last year? It must have been. I don't even no, know. it was last yeah, year. Okay. <laughs> no, let's not be crazy here. I don't know, just like we've been begging and pleading and open for so long. No, but like in in other places, it would like bug me that everything looks the same. But that's like Southern California. Mm. I think that's like the gag of like Southern California well, is everything's always kind of the same. Well, now having been there, like I understand what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's like sometimes you have to actually like set your eyes onto the scenery. Yeah, I will say. Mm. Shannon Bedore. This is another like classic mm. Shannon walking off mm. and cameras following her. Yes, yes, but I will yes. say her line being <laughs> turning to the camera being like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, we were talking this week, you know, people are always calling for this one and that one. Fire her. Yeah. No one's ever calling for Shannon. Of to be course fired. <laughs> not. I will say of housewives, <gasps> I think Shannon Bedore mm. might be one of them that, in my heart of hearts, I actually like care. No, for. no. Why not? <laughs> I, th- I mean, you're getting like getting too close to the sun. No, I know, I know, I know. But like, it's like I mm. feel for her. Mm. I think she's just like mm. she has a lot of feelings, and she's living out loud okay, a lot. Right. She must be a water sign, right? Let's get like one of those astrology <laughs> girls. Like let's get Allie just a an hour drive away from what I understand in um California culture. Oh yes, Allie from Vanderpump. Yeah. 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 It's June seventh, a Wednesday. It's Happy Pride Month, y'all. Happy Pride, 8 p.m. <laughs> happy Pride. Here are like the <laughs> probably worst of the housewives to celebrate. I mean, oh well, let's talk about Vicky. Her Jump scare at the very end, I want to say might be one of the most iconic moments in a trailer. <laughs> one of those psychotic moments in a trailer, but like, yeah, it's it's classic. Here's the thing, mm. I remember mm. back. You can go into the archives of Come Through Queen. I remember when Vicky and Tamra both got mm. the, let the go, chop. and I was like, good, yeah. Of course. And you know what? Now I'm like, good, good that they're back. Yeah. No, of course. I mean, sometimes we need a, a breath. Yeah. Like some of these people are good for like the long haul. And some of these people you need like a little bit and then you want to miss them. And yeah. You want to see them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, oh, one thing I want to know, mm. a couple things actually, because last oh. week we reported on the page six article that basically said that a huge part of this, uh, season was going to be the Tamra taking down Heather storyline, which we saw none of in this trailer. Mm. And I was listening to radio Andy. Oh, I know you're going to say this. Yes. As our, as our serious XM correspondent. And also a lot of people say like a lot of people make jokes about like things Andy says when talking about these new seasons, he Mm. always says it's a return to form. Like Mm -hmm. that's like one of his favorite phrases. He threw that out. He also threw out the information that this episode before the reunion he had already seen it all, and it was 18 episodes of OC. He's seen all 18 episodes? Yes. And he's, I feel like he usually like, is like catching them as they're coming. No, I think he said he saw all of them except for maybe the finale. Holy shit. And he said that he was surprised watching the trailer because he had not seen the trailer in a while because they mm. had cut it like okay, yeah. a little while ago yeah. that there's a lot missing from the trailer. Well... It's called the mid-season trailer. <laughs> right, I know. But like, I mean, like, that's, I'm, j- goes to say. Yes, 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 yes And yes. I'm pairing that with the mm. fact that there was that big page six article last week. About a trip? About a trip. And we were not on a trip in this trailer. We were in Montana, for sure. Oh, yeah, but that was, 
Weren't we supposed to go like to Mexico first or something? Yeah, and we could have been in Mexico. It felt like Vicky was walking up when we were in Mexico. Mm. That would have made sense mm-hmm. to the door. Okay. Anyways, my point being sure, sure, sure. that we saw none of the quote unquote Heather versus Tamra in this trailer, which is apparently going to be a big part of this season. Except for the pinky promise. Except for the pinky promise. But that was nothing. Like, they're two sisters driving up in the truck in Montana together kind of thing. Mm. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. Uh, I remember discovering OC. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Oh. It was just like a Sunday night. I, I feel like it was a Sunday night oh, or wow. something. And I was like, oh, these blonde women make me feel not safe, but oh. soothed. Okay. No, you know. I feel like this is like the kind of thing like we go on another podcast and we're like, Why would, how did you watch Housewives? And then we're like talk about it. Um, but like, I feel like I dipped into OC because I was already a Bravo watcher mm-hmm. vis-a-vis Project One Runway, Top Chef. Mm-hmm. And then even there was a period of time where Bravo was airing Six Feet Under. Okay. And then I like watched OC and I was like, eh. But then that, that was the one I f- eventually came back to. Okay. Before Come Through Queen. I think I watched right after I watched New York for the first time. So I went mm. Jersey, Mm-mm. New York, wow. OC Atlanta, or oh. maybe vice versa. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next we're going to talk about <laughs> um, just released today uh, and filming today, this Thursday, our, the Summer House reunion. Oh. And we've got a uh, theater in the rounds. Which you missed. <laughs> You, you were saying you missed Theater in the Round. Yeah, I love Theater in the Round. Uh, uh, seating chart to talk about. Yeah. Okay, so Summer House. Seating chart. I'll do the normal left to right. Okay. Okay. Just remember, it's a lot of names. A lot of... Uh, we, we've we got actually six people on each side of Andy. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start with Chris. Leone. Mm-hmm. I think that's his last name. Sam. Corey from Winterhouse. Mm-hmm. And in the, the seating chart graphic, they're using his Winterhouse headshot. Good. Closer to Andy than Sam, the person who is the reason for the season of mm-hmm. him even being here. Really? That's crazy. Uh, then Gabby. Mm-hmm. Carl. Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Andy in the middle, obviously. Sure. Father Kyle Cook, Mother Amanda Batula, mm-hmm. Danielle, mm-hmm. Sierra, mm-hmm. Paige, and last but not least, Maya. So mm. it's interesting. On the left hand side, it felt like they were trying to do like boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Oh, okay. okay, okay. And that's like, that's kind of my explanation for why like sure. Corey might be in front of Sam. But that's like, Okay. It feels like Summer House and like Southern Charm reunion seating matters least of like other. It's like not as like, it doesn't make as much sense of like Housewives. Well, so I had an argument for Gabby in that Mm -hmm. I I feel like she had a star making moment on Watch What Happens Live. Sure. That Andy was like, okay, bring her closer. Sure. But also it's like, if we wanted to talk about what's happening this season, it should be... Danielle and Lindsay going head to head. Oh, but, oh, but I think like, no, they keep couples together and then they, Kyle, they now like are pretending Kyle's like the dad of the show and all that shit. And Carl's the other dad of the show. It's, it's, there's stupid rules for summer house. But but, but, but Carl's not next to Andy. Lindsay is next. Okay. Yeah. So they're the mom and the dad of the show. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I, I love it being Lindsay and Carl and Lindsay and Kyle. Yeah, because you like blondes. <laughs> blondes are more fun. What can I say? <laughs> I think, okay, so there's there's more interesting things. Sierra being closer than Paige to Sorbo. Yeah. Where like Sierra, until recently, I've forgotten she's really even there. But she's got like more of the storyline with the fertility mm, stuff that's yeah. happening right yeah, now. Which we'll get to, yeah. That Paige is kind of just like, Paige is... The coast chorist. Yeah, she's coasting a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but she's like the narrator. She's like kind of, like she's funny. She's still like got her page. Oh, yeah. Zones. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of yes. course. I'm always laughing on the page. My on the end, it's tough stuff. It's like I didn't even realize she was still on the show. 
It feels like she's been gone for like three weeks. It's like Andrea feels like he should be more mm. in it. Than and he'll does. be yeah. next week. Exactly. Hello, hello. Uh, Corey. I, I, I'm curious to see like, are we sitting down with Corey? Or is it like, please welcome to the stage, Corey, like five minutes in. But like usually when they do please welcome to the stage, except for in like Miami. Mm. So it's hard to say. They don't always release full, like these full seating charts. Because for example, mm. we read the uh, New Jersey seating chart last week. Okay. And we didn't get any of the friends of yes. on it. But yeah. like for Miami, we got the full thing with all the friends of. Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard to say. Pump, we got the two versions. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited for it. You know, we've been keeping our eyes and ears on Ireland, of all places, where the Batula Cooks and the Rat Houses have been. Yeah. And they've been in good spirits together. This will be the real test mm. of Amanda Batula, actually, I think. Oh, okay. I think she's the one we all have to keep our eyes on mm. as far as, like... She is dancing close, buddying up to Lindsay Hubbard mm. in Ireland. In a photo. In in a photo, but they're on the dance floor, like okay. dancing around together. I'm I'm seeing tons of content from them. So if I think that's good. It's no, good I think sign. it's that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. So if she's gonna turn around at this reunion and act awful towards Lindsay, mm. like she has in the past, I think that will say a lot about her. So I think I think there's like a middle ground to be had because I think like there's like the version where you're just nasty nonstop mm -hmm. and then there's the version where you're like oh like I see Danielle's side here but I sure. also like don't hate you so yeah that's why I mean all eyes on mm. Amanda Batula can she hold that middle ground or will her mm. which is the West Village pull her over <laughs> Just the West Remember Village. that's what we named him last I week. I know. I love that we're reclaiming it. We're reclaiming the nasty names these women have been called. <laughs> well, no. I mean, like the witches of WeHo monetized. No, no, no. I'm talking about the the bedwetter. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the bed sore girls. I don't like any of that. They are the witches of West Village, even though nary a soul live in the West <laughs> Village. But you know they walk around there. Oh yeah, they definitely walk around. They like probably even take photos for their Instagram. Oh, in they're the West always Village. taking photos in the West Village. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's that's the seating chart. We have one more news item to get to. Yeah, so this is off our mm. usual beaten path. But since we've been talking about Drag Race a lot oh, yeah, recently, yeah. and we're so excited for All Stars. All Stars. Well, we're with family. Exactly. We're <laughs> we're back with Mrs. Kasha Davis. Um, the guest judges mm. for oh. All Stars 8 were announced. Not all of them, but some of them? I think all of them. Okay, all of them. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll go through them, mm. and then, I mean, I'll save... The ones that we're most excited about for last. Okay. So, Maude Apatow. Oh, that's like a euphoria. Yeah, and the... Daughter of. Daughter of. <laughs> um, Brandon Boyd, who, uh, I, who I don't know. Uh, it sounds... It rings a bell. It's like, is he a rocker? Maybe. That was like... Maybe. You look that up and Brandon? I'll go through. Okay, yeah, keep going, keep going. Zoe De Chanel. Oh, we, well, hello, quirky yeah. queen. <laughs> Tom Felicia, we know. Queer uh, eye. Yeah. Hello, Felicia. <laughs> Shut up. Also, a uh, part of uh, Secret Celebrity Drag Race. Yes, of course. All right, so Brandon Boyd is a rocker. <laughs> and what, what, are, what are we rocking? As I guessed, we are from the group Incubus. <laughs> I mean, hello. I remember there was this girl Aaron who loved him in high school. No, actually, like I feel like there's some Incubus songs that were very meaningful in my life. Oh, like what? <laughs> like um, <laughs> take me back to life. No, that's Evanescence. No, yeah, that's that's Evanescence. Um, oh my, oh this this was the one. The third album. Interestingly, like, it took three albums to get to the yeah, one. Yeah, sometimes the rockers do that. Drive. Oh my God. No, I know Drive. Like, shut up and drive? No, <laughs> shut up and drive, drive. Rihanna actually famously covered it. It's kind of like Nally and Rulia covering Torn. No, uh, Drive, Incubus. 
oh yeah. On a okay. Monday, I'm Wait, waiting. I have, to, I have to stop. Oh, yeah. And then, like, Ashley Simpson covered. <laughs> yeah. I got a Monday. I am da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so we did Tom Felicia. Um, okay, then Javisha Leslie, who was, who mm. played Batgirl on TV. She took oh. the rollover from Ruby Rose. Do you remember oh. when that happened? No. I do. <laughs> um, uh, Adele Dazeem, a.k.a. Adina oh. Menzel. I mean, that's going to be a moment. Especially with Alexis Michelle in the room. Hello. Put on that green Holler. paint, baby. Ah. Um, Ego Nodum from SNL. Oh, my God. Well, that's a legend. Um, Adam Shankman, who like I can picture. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think he's like a brown-haired man who oh. does acting. Okay. I don't know. Look him up. Adam Shankman. He's an elder gentleman. Oh, really? Okay. He appears to be a director, producer, writer. He... Was a judge on So You Think You Can Dance? Oh, yeah. Okay. So maybe we're going to have like a dancing challenge. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, re- I recognize him. Okay. He's kind of hot. Um, Where was I on mm. this list? Jojo Siwa. Well, LGBTQ icon. Yes. Um, Robin Thede. From a Black Lady Sketch Show. Yes. And then I think the two that we're probably really oh. pumped about... Um, Bo and Yang and Matt Rogers. Mm, I mean, like a double header right there. Yes. Cheek to cheek. Cheek to cheek. Right next to each other. No glass panels separating us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like so excited for all stars. We were talking about yeah. this over dinner. Like this is appointment television at 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and then also just to like say again, main stage judges, Michelle Visage, mm. Carson Kressley, Ross Matthews, and T.S. Madison. So this is oh. her, what, second or third season as a mainstay? Okay. On all or just all-stars? On all, because she was a, she was technically a mainstay this previous season. I know, but like this, so main season, as we know, I'm like half paying attention. And main season got like, they didn't mm. rotate as regularly oh, as yeah, possible yeah. because like people got sick with COVID and uh, I think Ross Matthews oh. is always with Drew. Oh, okay. I do not know that. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yes. Of course, of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. The Carson Kressley story that we talked mm, about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, should we go on to our shows? Mm, of course. Well, we're a little lighter this week. Good. Good. A break for us, please. <laughs> we have jury duty to attend to. <laughs> okay. Summer House. Okay. So, we're picking up with the. Uh, Danielle screaming into a pillow. Oh. A bad look. It's a not a great look here, Danielle. I'm sorry to say. Uh, but like also, I mean like, the, it's just a very complicated thing. We're getting flashbacks to like when her and Carl were making out back in like 2015, like all this kind of stuff. So, so Carl's like, I, yeah, I'd love to like hang out with you and you got like us and Ro- you and Robert. And, and Danielle's like, no, I just want to hang out with the two of you. It's <laughs> it's a little scary. It's yeah, it is scary. It's like signaling the beginning of the end. But like the only defense I would have for Danielle is mm. like she's never with Robert, so like she can't always do a of of course a double date. She can't always do a double date. Yeah, but like I guess I see the POV that Carl's saying of like. Yeah, like let's let's hang out as a couple or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I, you know, it was looking bad for Danielle in the beginning of episode, and then like during the fight, Lindsay was looking crazy. Mm-hmm. Later in episode, oh, her and Carl, like sitting on Carl's lap. Yeah, no, 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 her and Carl, but also sitting on Carl's oh, yeah, lap yeah, yeah, in yeah. the backyard yeah. with Kyle. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay. I liked her flannel though. It was it was giving clueless. Yeah, <laughs> which we've seen a few times on <laughs> Bravo shows. Okay, so Lindsay was trying to call Carl while he's in the office with Danielle, mm-hmm. and then starts freaking out. Which like you're freaking out. It's like you're like, the one who's out. It, like he should be freaking out. <laughs> he's L- alone in the house, not alone, but he's in Lindsay the house. was truly on one. Yeah. This night in particular. She was activated. And just like coming home screaming. While Amanda Petula is eating olives out of a can. <laughs> and I hate to say it, 
<laughs> it makes you feel sick. Yeah, I mean, that's my one. Mm. The spot. final frontier. That's my one spot of like food where mm. I don't really go for. No, we've been. I think we might have talked about this on this very podcast that we have been like actively training ourselves mm-hmm. to like olives. So like, I think that the first easy step, and I'm going to, I'm going to mess this up. Castrovalano olives. Those are like the ones that like the emoji looks like. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I think those sliced black olives. Like that are in like Greek salads. That are on like a pizza on a Greek salad. I think that's not the one you're looking for. Yeah. I got a pasta salad yesterday. Oh, that like had some of those in it and it like ruins the whole thing. Yeah. 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 That's the thing with olives. I think it's like of all the different foods out there, probably one of the most broad in terms of flavor. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And then here we have Batula eating it out of the can. <laughs> She'll disappoint you. Okay. So Lindsay is like screaming at Carl in the bed. Mm-hmm. I thought you were going to have an opinion. Like, but like, and Carl's just like a corpse. Yeah. Just wanting to go to sleep. And I just like, this is when I like, like Paige. It's like, mm. we get to like watch her mm. listen in. Oh, when they were, when she's screaming and everyone is like peeking out their door. <laughs> I mean, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's also, she's screaming about like, it's her and Danielle. If mm. both of them could just get out of their own ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like not even just to like be friends at this point, like just to make themselves not look awful. Yeah. They're both like making horrible choices that are just making themselves look awful. I mean, so that's kind of the thing. Like if one of them was normal, this would have like worked out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But Lindsay's screaming at Carl. I want my boyfriend to be like, you were rude to my girlfriend. You're a piece of shit. Go apologize to my girlfriend. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to do that. Especially like on these shows, like we hate when men come up and do that kind of mm-hmm. shit because they automatically, for the most part, come across looking way too yeah. aggressive in yeah. the situation. Okay. I have a question that I wasn't able to follow this. It felt like people went out mm-hmm. while we were making pizza, which is when the Danielle conversation happened. And people came home People went back out. People went back out. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think people came, went to dinner, came home. Yeah. And then people went back out to actually go hang out. All okay. right. Or go oh, party, rather. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially knowing the ge- geography of the Hamptons. How did the girls do it? It's called being young. <laughs> we used to do some crazy shit back in the day. There's many peers in this cast. Yeah. Who are going out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So we, at some point in this episode, have a confessional by Corey, which is this his first confessional of the season? Maybe. Mm. But I, I couldn't tell you yes or no there. Okay. So I took note that Corey's like definitely putting a little bit more pep in the step of the season, mm-hmm. I want to say. Mm-hmm. And I was tweeting about that. And someone brought to my attention something yeah. that I was like not excited to see. Mm-hmm. That Corey is definitely chugging along, liking a lot of like anti-trans movement, like Candace posts. Owens, like yes, all that kind of stuff. So that like definitely took the air out of the tires for me mm-hmm. on the Corey train. <sighs> And like I then I I even I even went and like investigated to see if like oh I wonder if he's been like called out and maybe like backed out backed mm-hmm. down like unliked blah 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 the lights were still all there yeah so yeah so that's like painting my uh, perception right now <laughs> of course it is and also summer house cast I don't think. As much would be in this vein. No, but like look at other, ca- other any other cast. Oh, I, listen, that's that's the shocking point to me. Yeah. Is that like I really can't picture that for anyone else in this cast, right? And I hope not. But and I almost wonder, like, how did no one like 
talk to him about this? Well, they don't know. They don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like Bravo's coming in and like giving these people like social media training mm. necessarily. We see what hap- We see all the shit that happens on social media. All the reprimanding comes after the fact. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure he follows these assholes. He believes these kind of assholes. He probably is in yeah. circles where people believe these things. Yeah. I mean, listen, I think obviously the better thing is to not believe it, but it's like shocking to me to believe it and then be like in a very public space and be and, liking shit and know? be liking shit yeah. instead of just like, you're not JK Rowling where you could just be like an animal and like, it doesn't really matter. And like, you're still got you're like Scrooge McDuck swimming in your money. I think that you are coming from a space where you are very social media literate and mm. have spent a very long time of your life on social media. And okay, okay. most people coming onto these shows probably aren't very social okay. media literate. Okay, okay. Beyond being able to like he makes like reels that look cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But Instagram walks you through that shit these days anyways. Sure. So it's not like he's doing the editing. No, I, I, listen, I couldn't do it to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to post like a reel to promote this podcast. And I'm like, it's fucked up. It's like, it's off center. <laughs> okay. you, your TikTok journey also. Um, one, one for the ages. One for the ages. Okay. So we have Lindsay making out with Ciara in a flashback from like the fun night out. It's like, she's, she's trying with the rest of the house at this point. Like Mm -hmm. she really, I do think she was trying to put a concerted effort into like getting along with more people in the house, but she can't get out of her own way Mm. to like realize like if I just made up with my friend Danielle, maybe things could be a little better for all of us. Yeah. I loved her walking in the next morning while they were talking shit about her. (laughs) 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 Oh my God. Okay, we're splitting off. We're doing shopping. Yeah, which we're not really like following the girls no. shopping. We're just like go go shop. Go shop, go shop. <laughs> and then it's military games. And I don't know who tweeted this. I would like would love to give you credit, but then like when we're doing military games and like someone is so Chris is calling people maggot, and I know like that's a thing in the military or whatever. But it never like crossed my mind that is that supposed to be like a fill in for F word? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't did know that about cro- the did that cro- did that cross your mind? No, no. Like maggot. Like blah, blah, blah. like does it like when you hear it like that? It's like oh my god! Like that's a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, I. I mean, I guess I, someone chime in. I don't, I'm not the expert here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just made, like makes me nervous. Now, yeah. now I'm hearing maggot. I'm like feeling like Are, funny. Have people been calling you maggot? No one's calling me maggot. Thankfully, but like here on the show. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, no, just food for thought. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, I love the story of <laughs> when, when Gabby's talking about like not liking holding hands mm-hmm. and then Paige says, Oh yeah. Um, Craig doesn't hold my hand, but it'll hold my wrist. Because her arms are so long. <laughs> and people think he's abducting me in the airport. <laughs> and she goes, sir, this isn't my uncle. <laughs> or whatever. Like, assuming that, like, the uncle would be the one abducting. Oh. See, she's, I, a, she's a fun, she's a comedy queen. You gotta give, I mean, Anna Burner is rubbing off on <laughs> I get a lot of Hannah Burner content on TikTok these days. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I She's really ticking and talking. I, I should like dive in one day. What to TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like three years later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so while we're playing military games, we discover that we're throwing Amanda Padula's hard boiled eggs at each other <laughs> instead of raw eggs. <laughs> That's funny. I get, I guess I get keeping like your hard boiled eggs in the fridge, but mm. I would want to like do them fresh. Mm. I mean, I've been doing um, research because we've been expanding into um, salads for lunch, mm-hmm. like pre made salads for lunch. And I wasn't sure. You're acting like you're a fucking Applebee's where you're expanding into salads for lunch. <laughs> so, like, a jammy egg, right? Like, so I'm not doing, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do a hard boiled egg. It makes, it truly makes you feel sick. Oh, really? 
it's like when it's, sometimes it's like green. Get, I'm gonna throw mm. it in the garbage. That's disgusting. But let's talk about a jammy egg. So we got a, a set white, and then the middle is like a hop, skip, and a jump from a poached. Where when you break it open, it's like a little like. Mm-hmm. Um, so I looked up online. Can you do that ahead of time? So it turns out you can. You like you do it. You peel the 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 shell. You put it in an airtight container for just only a day or two, and then you can use it in your salad. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as as Maya is pivoting from cookies to food content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Come Through Queen. Sure. No. <laughs> I'm out. No, you're going to host us in your new place. Oh, yeah, it's in my new home. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then when we finally do have the Kyle, Carl, Hubhouse, Hubhouse Danielle moment. Mm-hmm. And is there like one more person that like walks away? Maybe, or may, uh, maybe I'm not, maybe not, but everyone's like watching from afar. Mm-hmm. And like, and I love Paige being like, Danielle's crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, very Adrian Maloof. Somebody's mm, crying. Somebody's crying. Um, yeah. What did you make of that confrontation? Thing is, it's been a long summer. It feels mm. like we're having the same fucking fight over mm. and over and over again. I guess, again. yeah. I guess that's people's complaint, but I'm like liking these interpersonal conversations. I think it's interesting, but like what I'm like, can, what keeps on coming up to me, it's like mm-hmm. they're all just getting in each other's way. It's, it's different when like enemies fight mm. on these shows, when like two best friends fight and they can't, Mm. seem to suss it out is yeah. when it like starts to bug me. It's like it, it something always brings me back to like Bethany and Carol mm. or like Bethany and Jill. It's like, I just want to like shake them. So for me, I kind of feel like Danielle's waking up to the fact that like, this is not the friend she needs. Yeah. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Mm-hmm. You know, a jagged little pill. On <laughs> a jagged little pill. <laughs> We kind of end with Carl shopping for rings. Wow. Mm. Making sure it's in season. <laughs> that ring better be in season, baby. Like, it's like what happens the other seasons? Okay. Let's, 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 let's hop on over to Ireland. Oh my God. Our last night in Ireland. I almost, um, well, we have two nights, but yeah, I almost picked up a, Guinness. Then I was like, I don't want to drink a Guinness. <gasps> oh my god, you should have! I almost did. I almost because you have that little like you've got the beer store next to the wine store. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. But like, like I said last time, like Guinness will surprise you, or maybe I didn't say it in the podcast. But like, no, you Guinness, did, you did. Oh, you did. but Guinness is like surprising. Like it looks like you're drinking like tar, but it's like a nice little treat. Sure. Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> looks like you're drinking Lydia tar. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So as the Irish member of this um, podcast, what what's the word? Slayante? Sl- sashay away? I have no idea. Mm, you don't know. Okay, okay. I thought you would know. No. Mm. I mean, like, I, I grew up in jo- Atlanta, Georgia. Mm, they were not saying Slayante yeah. down there. We only, like, conveniently, like, talked about, like... Mm. Like, eating corned beef and cabbage, oh. like, during St. Patrick's Day. Okay, okay. Very convenient. Yeah. What did you make of um, Paul's mother and the hussy? Oh, loved her. Mm. I thought like, <laughs> I liked, she's natural. Mm. Camera ready. Camera ready, like walking on the scene. That was like a nice little scene to like see them. And I see what like they're, they're trying to show us like mm. how like Dolores came into this family mm. and they're, they might be Irish, but they're just like her family. Mm. So what's interesting is I believe Dolores herself is half Italian, half Irish. Oh, is she? Yeah. She doesn't really embrace her Irish side like before this. I think the mother is Irish. Oh, that explains eating the cake in the morning. That is my, that is my culture. (laughs) That is the culture that's made you say culture was for you. 
Okay. I always assumed it was more of like mm. a tri-state area. It is. It I, is. I, no, but I thought it was like an Italian thing because you were an Entenmann's girl. For sure. Yeah. And I know you ate cake in the morning as a kid. <laughs> of course. Every morning. <laughs> Devil's food cake. The donuts with the little pellets on top. Mm-hmm. The seasonal The cupcakes. pellets meaning sprinkles? No, 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 no. Go check the records. The Entenmann's donuts have like these strange little pellets on top of the donuts. Okay. They're like, I think they're just more... Like donut like pieces? Donut pieces. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking form. about then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, of course, the cupcakes that were like shellacked icing on top with like yeah shellacked. You're really like using words meant for like home repair <laughs> to describe entomins. <laughs> yeah, we, pellets we, shellacked. We, oh, we were repairing the home with those desserts. No, but we just like throw a shamrock on there, throw a heart during Valentine's yeah, yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I walk by an entomins mm. display or an entomins truck, I think you, of you think you. twice. I well, no, I only think of you. Oh, I would think of getting like I think. Mm. In 2023, okay. I think I would like fuck around with like a powdered donut, like those little powdered donuts. Do they have okay. those? Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I think we need to do like a seasonal shellacked cupcake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so while Dolores' future mother-in-law is there, mm-hmm. we're kind of having a conversation between Tree and Zia about like when Zia met Tree's parents for the first time. And Zia was a hussy. And Zia was a hussy. But it felt like they, they were getting along during this conversation. Oh, they were very much getting along. And Tree was even like... Complimenting. Tree was like, yeah, you were always so good to my parents. Mm. Which is like not something she has said before. Yeah, and but Zia was like in confessional. That's like the first time she's complimented me in a while. And I'll give it to Zia. I Okay, as a tree mm. hugger. As a tree hugger. Zia was winning this episode for me. I mean, Zia feels so awake in confessionals right now yeah. like that we've never seen her yeah doesn't she feel like in that little lacy confessional with the pulled back hair mm-hmm. like very ready to talk yeah um though in the car the night before she felt very mm. half asleep while talking about how she wants to drunk dial her ex mm. which we didn't talk about oh yeah i really like could not piece that all together either could i i mean she was doing is this a shout out to my ex oh yeah but she also like she has like this drunk girl act that comes Mm. out like once a season Mm. and oh to to me it's to me it's like it is cameras juilliard we're acting Mm. but it also i mean like if she's letting out like that she's gonna call her ex slip while she's drunk then it might not be juilliard acting maybe it's juilliard real oh but maybe, I feel like if we're going into it, like, Joe, I'm going to do this. Sure. Then, like, what she could act however she wants. I know. And the thing is, the gag is, we don't know, she doesn't know that these rumors mm. about this other man are in the picture. Is it, is, is it the same ex? Well, the theory could be, it could be the same ex because this man mm. would be an ex that's an ex, what's a mistress called that's a man? A mister. A mister? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the hen party, which is... A literal hen a party. A literal hen party. <laughs> I want to know, the entire time I was watching this episode, I was like really thinking, like, who led Jen Aiden down this road? Because for her to be the host of this particular outing, it's the least Jen Aiden no. event I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jen Aiden... Is truly on the top of her game. <laughs> no, but like, think about where we've come from her. Like, when, remember when we were in Oklahoma and she was like miserable because they were like in like on a farm and yada, yada, yada. Now that's, she's- That's bro- why we keep you around here because like you remember <laughs> things and I only remember what happened five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, we go from that to her bringing us this farm mm-hmm. where we're doing like, we're, and I will say they were interesting activities. The hunting for the cock was fun. The painting activity was well, the weirdest thing. We'll get to it. Okay. And then I wanted to be in the mud mm-hmm. pit. Okay. And of they did have a nice little well, lunch Well, you love or rolling around in the mud without shoes. Exactly. Okay. But the catching of the cock, Danielle, who I was like so high on, and then like I think she's let me down a little bit throughout the, mm-hmm. the season, 
But like, th- there's like little moments where I, I love her, where like she's like, I shkeev, <laughs> <laughs> like just using shkeev. I don't like. Do you have you heard that in your life, shkeev? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's like it's everywhere. Oh, is it everywhere? Yeah. But like, as you were when you were a child, did you hear like S K E E V? I know, I know. It's I want to say it's like it's like S H K E I V. Is it not S K E E V E? Like skeev. No, you're missing an H. It's not skeev. It's skeev. What is the what? What's the mm. meaning? What's the meaning that's different than skeev? <laughs> no, it's same meaning, but just like her. <laughs> Her pronunciation is like she's like as, so. It's the same word. No, but we're two. We're two Staten, Staten Island, Island sisters. Skeev. Not people. You like pe- you always think you're special. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. I'm hearing what you're saying. Skeev is broad, but skeev is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You yeah. can have your little Staten Island representation because it matters. <laughs> it does matter. I mean, yeah. I'm sure she voted the same way you did. <laughs> you better <laughs> shut the fuck up with that. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's talk about the painting. <laughs> Through It's Teresa's life, which, the, listen, I like to remove myself from like thinking about like, Who's doing what? A producer had to have talked about talked to our little Irish friend and set and like set up like we're gonna paint Teresa's life. Yeah, of course. Like he did not come up with that himself. They don't do this regularly here. <laughs> like because I mean like we're painting on the walls, so it's like we're gonna have to give it a top coat every time at this. Oh, but that's just like a no. But we're not going to the farm to paint. We're <laughs> no, usually you, at a farm you'd be on like a hayride. You'd be drinking. I was waiting for like the apple cider, the apple cider donuts. <laughs> I don't think we're doing that. In Ireland. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta give it to her. When Tree was like crying, asking them not to paint bars, I like my heart broke. Yeah, because she can't sing bars. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. No, mine did too. Um, and then she went outside and what the hell the puppy? Peter Peter comes up and goes, Do you like puppies? And he's like, and she goes, Is that a puppy? <laughs> I mean, it looked like a rat. I know, but do you know what it reminded me of? Do you remember? Like it's now like a famous vine, but it was from the Kardashians. Oh. And Chris Jenner goes, Kylie Jenner, can you come into the foyer? Mm. I've got a surprise for you. And she's holding a pig and Kylie walks down and goes, is that a chicken? Oh yeah. yeah. You love like that fine moment. Quick side note. I gotta, I gotta give it to them. I did not watch season two of Kardashians on Hulu. The trailer for season three, which is very Kim versus court. Had me thinking. I, I don't have to give it to them. No, (laughs) don't give it to them. Okay. Okay. So, I think the two major points of the painting is, number one, Zia's painting. Essentially making both her and Teresa cry. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we were so close. We were so close. We were like days away from the wedding. We're so close. And then um, we'll put a pin in that. Mm. I want to discuss the rest of the paintings oh. before we go on. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. So then it's like... Jackie has like a general idea. Like, here's you in your house. No, it was like a fan's painting. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jen Aiden's is even like a bigger fan's painting. Well, though the best painted. Jen Aiden's actually, I, I want to say is maybe the first important piece of art from the 21st century. Oh yeah. Like, you know, 20th century, we had like Picasso, we had this, Van Gogh, blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Fuck Coons. That's the only artist I can yeah, think fuck of. Fuck Coons. <laughs> this is the first art that has entered the conversation in the 21st century. Oh, matters. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, I was actually impressed. Like, you know, it's, it's obviously not like painted like the Mona Lisa, but I was actually impressed by like the details that she brought to the painting. Did you hear her talk about it? No. She where? said they only, I have somewhere I read something. Mm. They only gave her primary colors. Oh. And so she had to learn from her kids that if you mix all of the colors together, you'll get black for the hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm physically shaking. <laughs> that is an artist at work. Yeah. Using the tools provided to her. Yeah. 
And then fucking Marge and Rachel Food are like, mm. here are your books. Best selling. <laughs> you better stop. No. What? Okay. But I, I think I think this is here where, Ter- oh, correct me if I'm wrong, where Teresa's like, oh, maybe it's in the mud pits. I don't know. Where Teresa's like. At, di- at lunch. I had a vision. I want you. I want Gino to walk down and I want you and this and blah, 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 and, yeah. and, and Zia's like. Well, Jen goes, so are you asking them to be in your <laughs> wedding? And Teresa's going, no, no, not exactly. <laughs> I want them to, to be, be there <laughs> in the room. See, this is where Teresa's losing me totally. Mm. And so then, you're not hugging. Oh, I'm. You're, I'm. You're my releasing. hands are next to my <laughs> you're rele- side. You're releasing the grasp. No, and then she makes it even worse by mm. at lunch in this field. Mm. She once again says, "Well, I have no family, mm. so <laughs> when Louis' family embraced me, it feel re- it felt really good." <laughs> and Zia's right there, and Seethan, and I'm I'm standing with Zia here, which. You know, we went in, it's like you go in like a line out like a lamb. We came in like a tree hugger and I'm back to being a Zia lover. Right. I just think like the ghosts in the Irish cat in the Irish castle, mm. like might have like gotten into Teresa's head mm. and like okay. filled the empty space and so, made, made her say some weird shit. <laughs> but like, okay, so we're, so we're doing all that. We last week in asked um jen and dolores to join our wedding party and now this week we're asking bill to now join yeah which spills over so we're doing we're talking about bill joining in ireland and in new jersey yeah at the weed party at the (laughs) and correct me if i'm wrong Mm. didn't marge call jen aiden a disheveled drug <laughs> addict because she said that she smokes weed. Yes, 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 yes. And now her home is hosting it's a fucking fun. weed party. But we have to do it outside. And yeah, but let's just talk <laughs> about that. I want to land on that oh, yeah, and yeah. pause on that for a second because well, this I, is why Marge is getting on my last nerve this year. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm not, I'm not defending. It's, you. It sounds like you're about no, to look, defend. So Joe Benigno, Joseph's, mm-hmm. hyphen Joseph's, is hosting the party. Mm-hmm. But like, it's not his decision for it to be a weed party. Frank he's, Sr. wants to bring products for his new business. He's hosting it to be a weed party. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I landed back there because we had the food truck to support the munchies quote unquote exactly yeah and like marge even had like a decoration in her house i don't know if Mm. you saw when it zoomed out it was like one of those you've seen those around Mm. people's houses i forget who the designer is but it's like those like little containers and they will say the name of a drug on the outside she had one that said like weed on it oh i feel like that's um it's the it used to be paul it's paul something Mm. in the west village right across from where garnet tree house was paul no michael i don't know like I was wondering, like, why are we talking about Lexi last? Was it last week we were talking mm-hmm. about Lexi? And then it made more sense, like when Lexi is here helping Joe host because she's in the guest house. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you feel about the guys hanging out? Um, I thought at first it was stupid, but it did kind of get funny. Yeah, like we haven't seen. Like antics like these, and like if Joe Gorgo was acting, I want to give him an, an Emmy. Op- okay, okay. Um, because it would have been good acting. He get he got really touchy feel with <laughs> feely with Frank <laughs> grabbing the veins, and even just like he when he was ordering from the food truck, he like almost looked back to Frank as a companion to be like, "Is it okay? I'm getting this chicken sandwich." <laughs> okay, I want to point out from this moment when like Fuda and Danielle's husband were like trying to pretend to take the fight seriously. And then everyone was just laughing at yeah. them and they were like, actually we don't care. I kind of liked that, <laughs> but it was very like, <laughs> you guys were just pretending to care. <laughs> okay. So, 
we have a whiskey tasting, which like, mm. are there any new ideas? We've done whiskey oh, tasting in like Potomac. Right, right. We've done them. Didn't we do a whiskey tasting in Jersey like a few years ago? I think or was that, that was a, a rum, rum tasting? tasting in Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we skipped the mud pit though. Oh, but there, nothing special about the mud pit except that we we're all in mud. I mean, Jen Fessler was really embracing the mud. Yeah. Which I, got, I have to give it to her. I think my problem with like what transpired during the whiskey tasting is that like everyone just like always lands on the side of like who they are aligned with. Yeah. No matter if it makes sense or not. Yeah. I, Though wasn't Zia the one trying to flip the script at this whiskey ta- tasting? Oh. Wasn't she the one being like, actually, the people you should be mad at aren't Danielle. It should be oh. Jen Aiden and Teresa. Sure. Which is like, at least for that particular fight, is trying to move things along, though it just makes Zia and Tree fight again. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I had fun on this trip. We had um, Connor... We found out that he was featured last week's episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I would love to hear from him. Yeah, he didn't call in. I know. Where's he been? Lazy Oof. bitch. Wow. Okay. Uh, should we go to Vanderpump Rules? Let's go. Okay. At first, I felt like this episode, I was like, I'll kind of falling asleep. Yeah. There's something that's happening now with Vanderpump mm. Rules, is they are releasing the first seven minutes mm. of the episode. Well, they do that for every uh, every show. They're releasing it the moment after it airs, though. Oh, that happens. Yeah, and for some reason, it's hitting TikTok oh. in a way that, like, oh, okay. I'm seeing it immediately where the other shows... Oh, you put down your phone, and then you, put it, you stop watching the TV, and you pick up your phone, and it's, like, already there. It's, like, literally already there. Yeah, yeah. So, I keep on getting confused. So, I've already seen... At this point, when I went mm. to sit down last night to watch the episode, I've already seen the first seven minutes. Sure. So, I'm re-watching them. But at this point, I've already seen the first seven minutes of next yes, week's episode. Yes, so, yes. it's, like, a very confusing world I'm living in. Mm, yeah, yeah. And we've also been having a lot of super-sized episodes. Not this week, but, like... Yeah. A lot, because I'm sure they're, like, stuffing in Easter eggs. Yeah. yeah. But we're, like, getting, like, some, like, setup scenes. Because we're mm. still trying to move things along. Because not everything can be the big group scenes. We need to have our small group scenes. Well, I mean, so I think we're starting to get scenes where people are theorizing, is this a pickup? Sure. For instance, the bagel scene. Yes. Like, are the Toms trying to paint a picture of, like... Trouble in Sandoval and Ariana's relationship. Right. You know? Yeah. Or, even better, do they know back then mm. they wanted to be assholes and kind of ice out Ariana? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to, like, conspiracy theory too much with it, because then it's like, is Satchel paid? Like, is he a paid <laughs> <Yeah>. actor? <laughs> he has a Satchel full of gold. Um. Yeah. But yeah, and then, like... That scene was horrible, but I did like being at uh, something about her, mm. that empty space that's still empty to this day. Okay. That's something we really need to um, land in. So we're sitting down with Lisa and the two of them talking about their dreams for the mm-hmm. space. And you were there. I was there. A month ago. Was it what? April 1st? Less than a month ago. Yeah. I walked by that space. I... I have a video. You can look at my last um, last panel on my Instagram carousel from LA. It is uh, from the front of something about her. It's empty. And the sign that says something about her is like on its side inside. Mm. So my question is, what have we done for seven months? Pray. Pray? Yeah. We're like testing sandwiches, but like, aren't these things you can do before you sign a lease? I mean, also, like, how many times are we going to be around a kitchen island, like, making sandwiches? Like, bringing <laughs> random ingredients from, like, the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Like, at some point, don't you, like, go to, like, food distributors so that you can get the proper ingredients? I don't know how that works, so I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I would think you want to, like, test things before going to the distributor as to, like, what are you even looking for? Right. You know? But like, it feels like we're doing the same 
around the island, cutting <laughs> we're, ciabatta. We're doing a lot of island work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So I kind of love Lala and James just hanging out. Yeah. I mean, soulmates, actually. OTP? Yeah. Isn't that what the kids used to say? Well, like the one true pairing? Yeah. Yeah. I think they still say it. Yeah. They still say it. Yeah. It's funny. Mm. I will say this about fandoms. Mm. It's funny. I'm not in any fandoms. No, like you this, are. You but are. I'm I'm adjacent. I know about them because of like I have to sometimes. Mm. And it's funny how the lingo really does pass down through the generations. Like we're <laughs> generational still, trauma. We're like using the same like fandom lingo that we were okay. back in the early two thousands, nineties even. Mm. Yeah. It's just like pass from generation to yeah, generation. Yeah, like I mean like what like Mulder and Scully were OTP and oh. now it's James and Lala. Yeah. I mean, they could be. Our <laughs> Two equal couples. Two equal couples. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is it Mulder and Scully? Scully and Mulder? Yeah. What did I say? No, those are the two. Yeah, I'm not I said two. I said two different pairings. Mulder, Scully, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what else do we have? We... I mean, we're planning to go to the beach each. Let's go get away mm -hmm. with the two of the, them. Is there anyone else that we need to like check in with before we go to the beach? We're with a... Oh, we're doing um, more fertility stuff. That See, that's what's confusing me. I think the fertility stuff was like a tease for this week. Yeah. And then we got even more of it with James and... Not James. With Sandoval. Tom and Tom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Tom and Tom go to like the... The sperm doctor. Because Ariana's grandmother died. Yeah. And she was supposed to go with him. Ariana, not the grandmother. Yeah, yeah not the, the grandmother was not going to go to the sperm doctor. Um, so we find out that, like, it's <clears throat> Tom has, like, 6% viable sperm, but the, it would be ideal if he has 14%. Yeah. But still, he's got, like however many million sperm. So we're thinking it's going to be okay. And they keep on being like, and you just need one. And it's just like, mm. I don't know if I'm learning from this. You're, no, you're, <laughs> you're, you're listening and you're learning. I think they're, it's sounding like the sperm are a little wonky due to Tom's lifestyle. Yeah. Which, Drinking tight pants. Drugs. When the doctor said drugs and his face. And, Sh and Schwartz laughed. Yeah. And Sandoval's face looked very much like it looked when he was being accused of um, mm. other things. Of other things, yeah. Okay. Shall we go to the beach? I'd rather not, but I'll go anyways. And then I'll probably leave early. Oh, yeah, yeah. You famously <laughs> don't like to go to the beach. But this is an all hands on deck, so you have to go. Yeah. I mean, even Satchel has to be there. Satchel and the Don. Yeah. They're both of whom were wearing socks. Rolling up in socks. Peter rolling up in slacks and a button down. <laughs> like he's working. <laughs> he is. He gets confused. I could literally see him getting confused. Peter, you're not at sir. <laughs> Just like wear something a little bit more comfortable. He might think he is. He might think he is. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we are discussing James's accomplishments of like, I'm going to go to Virginia. And I am opening for Cascade. In my brain of brains, I thought this person was called Cascade. Oh, yeah. I no, In my brain of brains, I thought this was like, evacuate the dance floor. Isn't that like ca Cascada? Isn't there, isn't there another one who did a cover, who a really good fun cover of something back in the day? Do you know <laughs> what I'm talking about? No. I thought Cascade was evacuate the dance floor. But... Instead of celebrating uh, James's wins. <gasps> I'm thinking of Cascada. Every time I touch, I oh, get this oh, okay, feeling. Which I think is, is not also evacuate the dance floor. Maybe not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, okay, so now I'm confused. Because okay. I think we're talking about this person. I know, but it's actually just a DJ named Cascade. Okay, so I'm less impressed. No offense. I know. Well, I think like you and I are not in... You know, those concerts where like people go, like, there's, there's like colors being thrown around <laughs> and it's like, oons, oons, oons. I went to a color run once. Have you ever been to one? Of Electric those? Daisy. Is that called the thing? 
don't know. I think that is it be... like Coachella adjacent? I think it's like Coachella, but it's La La like, It's like that, but like not a name you know. It's like DJ after DJ after DJ. Okay. Yeah. I can't think of a DJ I love. And I think like I <clears throat> I'm not gonna like yuck people's yums. But I think like this, you go to that to you like take some sort of substance and then mm. you're just kind of like uns uns unsen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's big in our cult, our people's culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. The colors being thrown around. Oh, like you like, you go there and you're wearing like a white shirt and then there's just like shooting color around and everyone looks like a rainbow. So like a color on. I've done one of that. Yeah, like a color on. Yeah, but yeah. But like that was in the morning and there wasn't drugs or music. <laughs> no, there's, <laughs> we're unsing, unsing. Okay. Okay. But we're yuck and yums here for Cascade opening with a Rochella reference. Which was like the stupidest joke and the stupidest reaction. Well, yeah. I mean, we're throwing beers. And then James says on Watch Women's Live, he, like a, ge- a gentleman, emptied half the beer we're throwing <laughs> before throwing it. That's a gentleman in my book. <laughs> and then... It, Am I wrong that Charlie and Allie met this day and then became yes. the best of friends? <laughs> well, I think Allie's like a girl's girl. Well, I think Allie's also a peer of Charlie. Yeah, so they met this day. And then I think Charlie was like trying to be a little protective of Allie. And like mm. once James was making a fool of himself, she was like, let's go see the water. Let's well, get away from here. Well, also, I think Charlie might have been like, Ugh. I don't want to latch onto Raquel anymore. <laughs> yeah. And she also like, think about it. Charlie is a friend of, she doesn't really, she's not in the group as much yeah. as the other people. Yeah. Like, I don't, I can't even think about like what her relationship to like Katie is. Are they enemies? Uh, her and Lala must be enemy enemies. All I remember is like Charlie was feisty that one reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Also like Christina Kelly's rolling up by herself. Mm. to this party which i thought was interesting <laughs> did you catch her hug brock and then ask if he was really sweaty and he yes. was like no it's sunscreen yes 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 christina galley if you catch her you have to like mm. kind of look between the lines with her but you can catch her doing some stuff that's enjoyable mm. <laughs> it's really <laughs> for a true a true lover of- it's like it's like an christina kelly moments are easter mm. eggs yeah 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 the Easter Bunny is, hasn't gone yet. Yeah. He's still leaving those streets. Okay. I did I never expected for us to go from this to, I don't want to say a cramped bar, but like we're on, I, I feel like we're on top of each other in the bar. I want to know how this works. Because <laughs> they mu- they obviously must have had the permission, permission. For this place. Yeah. Permission to film. But then, like, I was wondering, like, I don't know anything about production, but I was wondering if, like, they somehow snagged last-minute permission mm. to, like, get into this bar. And that's why we didn't see, like, Katie and Satchel and Lala walk in. Oh, okay. We only joined them later. I was thinking there could... In the, someone chime so in. So a producer, like, asking, like, can we film here? Like, yes. can you sign this right now? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. can we have a space kind of thing? Yeah. And like a beach bar like this is the kind of place where I would imagine they'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. That's my fan theory, no, just I love because it. of the way it's set up. Yeah, but yeah, we're in this like crowded ass bar, and the girls are fighting. Well, we're now vocally casting suspicion on Sandoval. Yes, and he's like throwing it and then screaming about something else. Yeah. And I mean, Katie had him down to a T when she mm. said, this was classic Sandoval. Like whenever he's in hot water, he pivots and mm. he puts it on someone else. But so much happened before that. Oh. Like we had Tom versus uh, Tom versus Lala, oh, Tom yeah. Schwartz versus Lala, where yeah. Lala's like, Tom Schwartz is being an asshole to begin with. Mm. But like Lala's yelling, like open a business and like all this stuff. Oh. And like, I'm like. I'm sure you have a business and everything like that, but like, we can't walk into whatever business you have right now, can we? Uh, okay, it's like wh- whatever. Like, give them Lala like lip kit or like t-shirt time or whatever she's doing. Yeah, is is not anything more than Tom Tom. 
Like, they make money off of Tom Tom too. Yeah. It just, that fight was so stupid to me. But I, it just like the theatrics of everyone's kind of like running around, but coming back to this like main stage area. And then um, another thing. For some reason, this weird bar does scorpion bowls. Mm, oh my god, those are killer! <laughs> and fucking James is trying to like show off by like he says that there's like some whatever proof alcohol in the uh, little one one fifty. Yeah, in the little pool in the middle of the scorpion yeah. bowl, and he like goes to sip it, but then I think flicks it in his eye. Well, I think he's like watch this Christina Kelly and I think she accidentally like flicks the straw and it goes in his eye and he's making this big ass of himself to the point where Allie's actively laughing at him yeah, yeah. which is actually kind of fun to see she's actually she's emerging girl. she's emerging <laughs> she's a girl's girl and then they ask the waitress and the waitress is like oh no that's just for show <laughs> it's just water <laughs> uh, oh yeah yeah no I mean it was a chaotic episode it's People have been saying this, and I think it's like interesting. Mm. It would be interesting to see this episode and these episodes without the scandal over our heads because it would be just as good, almost. Yeah, no, it would definitely be just as good. And I'm like wondering. I mean, like when I'm watching Confessional, I'm wondering: is this a post scandal confessional? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I'm like, I'm now putting my conspiracy theory hats on. Yeah. Especially with our preview for next week, which is like insane, really. Yeah. When, going... when Ken Todd is being shuffled out into the kitchen to say Raquel slept at Tom Sandoval's home. Yeah. He, he does not know who Raquel is. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> LVP told him to say this, to bring it up on camera to her. I know. I love it. Um, one last thing. <laughs> I'm kind of loving Tom Schwartz having to mm. deal with the satchel of it all Mm-mm. just because there's this like fucking weird elf man <laughs> named satchel who's now here and he has to like say like hi satchel. And that's like a funny thing for someone to have to say. Uh, what? So Schwartz is like full vil- villain, but when he, when Lala's screaming at him and he's sucking on those wings, I was laughing. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> oh, and then one more thing mm-hmm. I wanted to mention yeah. that I thought was interesting as far as body language goes. Mm. And this is what I said to put a pin in it when talking oh, yeah. about like men okay. like going after like women and sure, that type sure. of thing. I thought it was interesting the body language between Katie, Sandoval, and Satchel when Sandoval was like yelling at Katie trying to deflect off the Raquel thing. Oh, okay. And like in Vanderpump Rules a man would usually jump up and like get into a fight with Sandoval. Oh, right. But Satchel was just doing a simple rub. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> like Katie's shoulder. And I was like, I wonder what people think about that. What's your thought? What, about a simple rub? <laughs> like a simple rub instead of like getting into the fight. I Satchel has filmed a half day before this. I know. Like, I don't think he knows what he's doing. I know. And he's younger than Allie, who <laughs> I thought was in her teens. <laughs> and he shows up to the beach in vans, the checker vans that I have, and some socks. <laughs> and like a gray tee. Looking like a... Thing is, if you go to his Instagram, he's kind of cute. He just needs to like figure out the hair. I it... showed it to you. You yeah. went into it. Because you only like blondes that are 40 with, with mullets. I gotta say, <laughs> Kyle, if you if you follow Kyle, you saw his story. He's like, all right, guys, I got the reunion coming up. He was in the in the hair salon he, and like the hair was all pulled back. And he's like, I heard you guys. Everyone's sending me vomit emojis all the time, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And like, I'm going to show up to the, the reunion with a, with a clean up, clean up look. And like the, the hairdresser is like behind him. And then they were, and then they like spread them all out. I was like, no, fuck it. I still have it. He did a Sasha Le- 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 Oh my God. Sasha Velour reveal. Yes. The rose petals were flying out of his oh hair. Oh my God. That's sick. Oh my God. Love father. Love father. Love father. Okay. Shall we do a freak of the week? Yes. And the so, winter queen. The freak of the week I think is all you. Oh. Yeah. It is um, those rumors we heard from Bravos and Cocktails. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's very 
devastating r- rumors if you are of the same mind of me, mm-hmm. which, okay, so this comes from Bravos and Cocktails, which like you were telling me is, is like a fan fiction, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like people believe them sometimes. Uh, sometimes. So subject is next season. Spill it to bravoandcocktails.com. All full-time Jersey girls will be back next season. Only one of the part-time ladies are asked back. So I think a lot of people were focusing on the all women are asked back portion because mm-hmm. a lot of people are talking like, Teresa, Zia, but da 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 I skipped right past that. Wow. I skipped right past to one of the part-time ladies asked back. I want Jackie. I want Fessler. Wow. Right? Yeah. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. I mean, I want Fessler. I don't... Oh. Oh. I like Jackie. Okay. 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 But like, don't you think she stepped up to the plate a little bit? No? Not my favorite season for her. I oh, actually okay. like... I mean, I would have liked Jackie full time. I would... I like Jackie best when we're... With her singer full story. Oh, yeah. I don't think she works as good just like in the group scenes, just because it's a tough group to try to get mm-hmm. a word in edgewise. Yeah. And she sometimes like clams up, and it's not her fault. It's just human nature. Okay. So you're predicting the one of the two is Fessler. Yeah. I mean, I'm predicting that as well, but I just hope that's not the future that we have. And I think things could shift, right? Yeah. Because like, I think Ask Back, and like, how negotiations go. Also, this the season's not over. This is a gossip blog. Like, mm. no, but you know, I think I think um, it happens sometime in between reunion filming and reunion sure. airing. Sure, you know these sure. conversations are happening. I, yeah, I would love to see what this blog said about mm. Gina Kirsch Kirsch Schneider and mm. her orange roll, roll footage. Because I'm, I'm guessing mm. they might have been one of the sources that said Gina's orange was. Going to Taylor Armstrong. Mm. Well, anyways, let's go to our one true queen. And mm. we're actually going to go to actual journalists. Mm. Um, and this is being reported across the way, but I want to, I want to frame it correctly here. Oh, so our one true queen is going to go to one person, but I want to first say that um, all of the main women from Vanderpump Rules were asked to present at the MTV okay. Awards that are coming up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But the headlines that are running <laughs> on People Magazine, Yahoo, Extra TV, mm, mm. name three names in the headline. Okay. Pretty consistently. Images as well. Images as well. And this is from People. Ariana Maddox, Jamie Lee Curtis, <laughs> and Holly Bailey... And more to present at the MTV Mu- Movie and TV Awards. So, Ariana Maddox, a- headliner above Jamie Lee and The Little Mermaid. Oscar winner Jamie Lee. <laughs> Oscar, fresh and, off her Oscar. And the woman who is starring in the biggest movie of the year. Mm. And just like the three sisters there, three sisters are leading this award show. Well, two Bravo stars and a Disney princess. Exactly. Yeah. No, but I mean, like Ariana is presenting with mm. Sheena Shea, Katie, and Lala. But I, I bet you it's like one of those presenting where it's like, it's the girls, but it's Ariana speaking. Yeah, you for know? sure. I just think it's like it's so funny, and it kind of just goes to show how Scandal has propelled Ariana mm. into like this next level of like stardom where like people magazine is giving her this headline without the qualifier. That's Vanderpump rules star mm-hmm. Ariana like, Maddox. You know her. Yeah. I think you already know yeah. her name. Uh, I think it's so I'm conspiracy theorist with Vanderpump rules and like what, but blah, 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 blah. that's like, it, it's a tough pill to swallow for Raquel and Tom Sandoval to agree to all of this. If this was a pre-planned thing, and now Ariana is our superstar, you know what I'm saying? So that 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 makes me like question my conspiracy theorist. Thoughts. Yeah, I mean, like I don't think that mm. I don't think they anticipated agreed to it. I think if there's a conspiracy theory here, it's that post production. Everyone was pretending. Oh. That they didn't know oh, or something like yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. And yes, yes. now everyone's acting super surprised. Yeah, which I wonder, like that. Then that could be like your 
it's kind of like when they talk about the season when they're on Watch What Happens Live. Like, you can't talk too far ahead. Yeah. You, like, when you're on Watch What Happens Live, you have to act as if, like, the only thing that has occurred is the episodes that have aired up yeah. to tonight's episode. And I would say, I think, like, if we were to to get into this, like, conspiracy theory a little bit, I think the line would be, we are hearing people talk about this Raquel and Sandoval thing at the Abbey. Mm. And that on its face mm. for what this show is and the people on it yeah. could be a rumor that would last like an episode. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I think the conspiracy theory here is knowing everything that happened, they, I think what you're saying is they went back, Lisa, Ken, producers went back and decided to film these scenes, like the one coming up next yeah, week, with Katie. to flesh out yeah, the story, more. to keep it going for a bigger part of the season because there's hunger for Scandal yeah. during the season. Though I would argue, I'm actually like now more hungry for all these other plot lines. I think oh. they're as interesting okay, yeah, yeah. as Scandal because I feel like we're not going to see all of Scandal happen until we're at the reunion. Sure. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Right. Wow. Uh, wow. What a week. As we mentioned, head on over to come through queen.com links to Patreon for that pre-show about jury duty and more and links to social media, the private Facebook group where news is popping and, uh, Instagram and Twitter's for both of us. And just like, comment, subscribe, or share, retweet. Love us, love us, please retweet. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. I wanna see ya come through, queen.